Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Banjo Tooie Blind. In the last episode, after 48 episodes, we have collected every single jiggy in the game. But I guess better than that, we have collected pretty much everything at this point. All the collectibles, all the notes, all the Jinjos, all of the Cheeto pages, all that good stuff. So it's pretty rewarding when we finally piece out the 100% completion. But it's also kind of sad at the same time. That means the adventure is almost over. But I believe we're not done yet. We still have to go through here, the Cauldron Keep. So let's do it. What do we got ahead? I'm going to say this is not the finale. Because I feel like there's still quite a ways left. As you can see, we have a warp pad and we have uh, split pads as well. So I don't think we're done here. As for what we're supposed to do, I'm not exactly sure. As you can see, oh, I see. Luckily for us, Kazooie can get over here, no problem. And then Banjo, with the amazing sack pack ability, I'm gonna guess we can get over here pretty easily. And let's see what happens here. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? That was kind of cool. Now, what exactly are we supposed to do about these lasers here? Well, luckily for us, we don't have to stay pressed on the switches, so maybe something at the back of this will help. Oh, there's a Jinjo, but it's a fake! So who we don't care about that? Aha! I don't even know why they even bother putting a Jinjo fake back here, you know? What's the purpose? You're never gonna get them, you're never gonna know, because we already have all the Jinjos by this point, but... Oh boy, a big door? Sounds kinda scary! Whoa, the gatehouse. Hey, Kazooie, there doesn't appear to be anyone in here. Oh, yes, there is. The music's changed. Every time that happens, we always end up in a fight. Darn, Plunko must defend Mistress Grunty Casa. Career questioning minion. <laughs> Don't you ever learn? Klungo Clever learned lot, has learned new potion. Is it as useless as all the others? <laughs> yes, er, Klungo means no. Must win this time, or mistress feed me the monster. What monster are you referring to? What is your potion? Yer, now not know which is the real one. Okay. Well, I think I hit the real one there. Oh, he is... Wow, he has learned. He has learned the ways. Oh, uh, the middle one. Okay, this is easy. So yeah, he has learned because he kind of tries to sh throw these in the direction that you're... Like, he, if you're pretty much going in that direction, you're going to die. He's going to get you. So you got to have to be careful there. That's insane. Oh, uh, oh, uh, sir, you. There we go. Is that it? Are you kidding me? That's it? I don't believe this. Klunko, you're garbage. Klunko noticed something happening after fights with Bear and Bird. And that is... <laughs> Klunko gets less and less handsome. Now Miss Klunko won't want me anymore. Klunko had enough. Future prospects not good with Mistress Grunty. No chance of promotion. No days off. No pay. Klungo go find easy desk job. Maybe make stupid games. <laughs> that's a sad way to see him go. But that's too good. This game's writing and dialogue is so good. Oh, man. Well, now we beat Klungo. What's through here? No way. No way. Thank you, thank you. I'm Grunty, your host, and may I welcome you to my Tower of Tragedy Quiz. No. Let me run through the rules for you all. There are three rounds of general knowledge questions. And the person with the lowest score at the end of each round will be eliminated. Correct answers score two points. 
with one point being awarded if it was a second guess following the incorrect answer from another contestant. Get one wrong, and I'll take two points off you. Press X to buzz in, and then A to answer if you can. Now let's meet tonight's cunt victims, er, I mean contestants, shall we? Introducing on the left, it's my gorgeous slim sister, Mingella. On the right, we have my lovelier, shapely sister, Blabelda. And in the middle, huh, just some loser bear called Bancho. <laughs> Oh god. Let's start with round one! D oh god. Ugh. That looks like Jolly Roger? Oh. Fish? What was the question? What was it in this. Oh. Dude, I knew that! Oh, here's another! God. Let's look at the screen. That is Witchy World. Uh, but what's the question? How many flashing lights? Uh, I didn't count that! Dude! I'm gonna lose! Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay, I gotta pay attention. Okay. One point, I suppose. Oh gosh. Let's look at the screen. Okay, that is definitely, uh... Glitter Gold's mine. What color was the rat's helmet on the picture? I think it's yellow, isn't it? Oh, wait, I didn't... Get... What? That wasn't me? In the Witchy World Star Spinner, how many stars lead you up to the mechanal... Uh, three. Okay, I'll accept that. Yes, hey, you will. Take a look at the scene. Oogle Boogle. That is an Oogle Boogle. What was wrong with these cavemen? Uh, they were cold and hungry. Yes. Okay, we're slowly climbing. We're at the- we were negative, now we're positive. Oh, where was that? He's gonna ask me where that was. Is this a... Oh, uh, God. Okay. Whew, what a guess. Wowie. Take a look at this scene. Okay, it's Glitter Gold's mine. What about it? How many square crates? Uh, they were two. There were three? Dude, are you stupid? Banjo, you're bad at this game! Dude, there's three? Oh my god. Take a look at the scene. Okay, that is definitely Mwamba's wigwam and. You didn't even ask the question! What was the question? In Hailfire Peaks? Oh, he does, uh... Sunlight. No. Life Force. Yes! Okay. Uh, which of these areas is home to Guffo and Cloud Cuckoo Land? Guffo... Okay. I didn't know who Guffo was. I didn't, I didn't know his name. What did Klungo say he was going to do as a new career? He was go DUDE! He was gonna make games! Yeah, I thought so. Yes, I know the answer. He was gonna make games. Okay. That's the end of- I Oh my god, I just barely won it, man! Oh, man! Wow, as low as their IQ. Here's a consolation prize, Blobby. That's your sister! Are you kidding me? You're so mean to your sisters! Which gets- Oh god, time to move on to round two. What's found inside Cloud Cuckoo Land's spot of gold? Uh, it's a shooting game? Yes. Okay. What color is Witchy World's big top tent? It's blue and white? Yes. Okay. What is unusual about Mumble Skull at Jolly Rogers Lagoon? Yes, it did have a secret passage. Let's look at the screen. That's Jolly Roger. Salty Dunk with three dollars, twelve dollars, four dollars. What would you see this? Jolly Roger! Yes! 
Okay. Those guys think about prices. What has a mumble jumble got in his skull? Ooh. A high five? Yeah, I am. Okay. A lucky guess. What had the prospect of lost in Glitter Gold's mind? You lost your, uh, your partner. Okay, I'm starting to get good at this now. I think I got this. That's Pterodactylin, or is that... How many bones were there? I have no idea. You gonna guess it, Mingella? Okay, I guess no one cares. Apart from D. Jones, all the lockers at Jolly Rogers are going to display... Oh. Are you kidding me right now? How many different sizes of T-Rex are available? There's two. Yes. Okay, I knew that one. Who has a germ problem in his Cloud Cuckoo Lands? Uh, what? Dude, I don't know the names of these people! So it's Puff Puff, then. Oh, it's Guffo! We just went over the Trash Man, dude! We just went over that! Boy, you're dumb! There's a scene from the game. Oh, that is a... Dude, I can, I can guess this. Hold on. What? <laughs> what was the question? Which roll of letters reads junk? Oh my god, are you serious? This is why it pays to read the questions, ladies and gentlemen. How long did Gruntilda spend in her... Two years? <laughs> yeah! A lucky guess? No, that's the truth. What two items were one on Glitter Gulch Mines hand cart? It was a Jiggy and a Cheeto page. Okay, we're getting there. What color are the feathers on the darts fired? <laughs> okay, now I have a chance to actually answer it. Fired by a minor ton of dart guns. Uh, red. Yes! Sweet! Ten seconds, I think we got this, as long as we don't mess up this question. Uh, red, yellow, purple. What was the question? Okay, well, at least I got it. Oh boy! That's the end of round two. It seems that my sister, Mangella, has also been beaten by that useless bear. Time to say goodbye, Minji. Why are you so mean, Grunty? I don't even heard that burp there, man, but good lord. Now listen carefully, dunce. I'm changing the rules for the final round. Oh, there's more. To make it harder. I won't show you the answers unless you buzz in. If you don't know the answer, I'll let you press LTR to the pass and move on to the next question. I'll set a nice little score for you to beat within the given time. I wish you plenty of bad luck. Let's play. Oh my god, it's the final round! What type of dinosaur are Terra Dathalan's mother and three kids? They are Tricer... Okay, I didn't know that. Lucky guess, okay. Who is Canary Mary in Glitter Gulch Mine? He's a bird woman, yes. What does Hillfire Peaks oil dr on Earth? A jiggy. Okay. A lucky guess, yes. Which Banjo Kazooie character guarded the big top entrance? It's, uh. Oh, it's. Ooh, it's. Konga, yes. You know it all. Which of these areas are found in Mayhem Temple? Uh, uh... Oh, dude. No, 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 you idiot. I'm sorry. Which is at the very top of Cloud Cuckoo Land? Uh... uh the Hive Entrance. No? Shoot! What would Banjo do if you press A? He jumps. Yes. Alright. How many daughters did Tip Tip have in Jolly Rogers Lagoon? I think it's two. What?! What is wrong with the dinosaur who lived in the lake out inside Pterodactylans Mountain? Oh, oh, oh! He, uh... Uh... Oh, yes! What color are the normal blue eggs? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what shape are the floor tiles in Jiggy Wiggy's Temple? Uh, there are no tiles? Dude, dude they're Jiggy's! They're Jigsaws! Which of the banjo only moves is activated by holding L right light stick up? Uh, it's the sack pack. Yes. 
What's found inside Clockwork Land's cheese wedge? What? What? What did the giant pterodactyl accuse Banjo of in pterodactyl land? Stealing his eggs, yes. I'll accept that. What shape is the stand that I'm reading these questions from? Okay, yes. What object did the UFO aliens Jolly Rogers Lagoon not carry? Okay. What a guess. That was a lucky guess. What is the name of Pterodactyl Land's two rival cavemen tribes? Oogle Boogles and, uh... This. Yes. Not bad. How many alien kids on the Hailfire Peaks were there? There were three. Yes. What is the name of a Dragon Boss brother in Hailfire Peaks? Uh, Chilly Willy. Yes. Getting there. What is the name of the seasick pirate in Jollies? Uh, it's Black Guy, isn't it? Yes. What do the Jinjos say when they were rescued? Jinjo! Okay. That's the end of the final round. What a useless score that... Huh? What's wrong with the scoring system? It must be broken. You can't have gotten that many points. No, 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 no. I declared the win invalid due to faulty equipment. Oh, dear. So what happens now? Hmm. I don't know. Any ideas? You could escape in a cowardly fashion like in Banjo-Kazooie before we kick your bony butt. Yes, I could. Thanks, bird brain. Fortunately, I've built a rocket into my booth for this very reason. I'll be waiting for you at the top like last time, but this time you'll be the ones taking the fall. Oh. The gun chambers. Okay. Right. Come on, Kazooie. Let's go and see where that door that's just open leads to. Do you reckon that's the end of the game? I doubt it. We've not had the credits yet. That's true. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh. And remember it cri oh, oh. What is this? Oh, is this the credits? Like in the first game, like the fake credits? Benjus is brought to you by. Huh. Well, now I'm curious. The original Banjo Tui team. Oh, okay. Is this the credits? Oh, dude. Yeah, this is the credits because Grant Kirkhope's in here. Okay. I would hope there's a credit scene after you fight the uh, the final boss, which I'm going to assume is not here. We haven't done it yet. I was not expecting another quiz show. Oh my goodness gracious, are you kidding me? That's insane. That was a lot harder, at least the questions I thought were harder because I hadn't paid all that attention to all that stuff going on, so I wasn't aware of all the answers. But I'm surprised I made it through. I thought I was gonna fail the quiz show, to be honest. But wow. Ooh, I don't wanna say like all of my, uh, my thoughts on the project here because then there's nothing for the credit scene. All I will say, I guess, is that uh, I don't know. I want. I kind of want to save all this for the end, but I'll say one thing, I guess. Right? I had a ton of fun with this adventure. This is already signifying to me that we're going to be hitting the end very soon, and it's just been a wild ride throughout the entirety of it. I wasn't expect this game kind of intimidated me when I first started it. Especially after, like, beating, um... I didn't really start hit, uh, getting to me until we hit beat Witchy World, kind of. Because, at that point, the Jiggies were getting a lot more complicated. And there is much more to each Jiggy than in the first game. The first game, you could just find a Jiggy, and there he is. Or you could do a small little minigame, and there it is. Not so much in this one. A little bit different. You have to do a lot to get some Jiggies. And that's where most of the episodes come from, is me doing a bunch of setting up and preparing for getting each Jiggy. But I'll go ahead and say that much, because I, again, I don't want to save, or I don't want to say all I have to say before the end. 
because I'm sure we're still going to be fighting the final boss, which I would assume is Grunty, and maybe the sisters would be involved in some way. Because obviously they have to be involved, right? I mean, you can't just have the sisters in there and then have them not do anything. That would be really dumb, in my opinion. Because they've been in the entire game. They were in the quiz show. They, I mean, they could have just died right there if they got crushed by the uh, the weight, you know? But I really... This is nice credits. Nice little view here. I love how they kept the names from the first game. Like, uh, like the name and then, like, their... The hyphenated name and then the last name. It's cool. I appreciate this. But man, we're all... We're so close. The next episode, I'm gonna assume, is the finale episode. And I don't know if I'm ready for this to be over. I mean, well... This game has gone on for a long time. <laughs> uh, for a few months. Uh, I don't... I didn't want it to go that way. Unfortunately, just kind of how it happened. Um, this... I will, I will also say this game has been going on at the time of my life where there's been a lot of changes going on with me personally. Um, a lot of things have to take priority. I know I could have finished this much sooner if I didn't have so many things going on, and I apologize for that. I apologize for the fact that there have been a lot of delays in terms of episodes going out for this series. It wasn't in my int uh, intentions to have all these uh, pro uh, not issues to have all these things going on when they did. And I'm still kind of involved in those kind of things going on. I don't want to go into too much specifics considering it's personal life stuff, but that's why there's been so many delays over the course of this series. And good and bad. There have been a lot of good, but also a, a kind of good amount of bad. And um, I really do appreciate all who stuck around and kept watching and you know, just kept pushing on through, because every single time I recorded this game, it was always a pleasure, and I wanted to make sure that every time I was playing this game, I was enjoying myself and having fun. Sometimes I was even recording this just for the sake of getting my mind off the things that were going on in my personal life, and I feel like that was pretty important as well. But other times where I even had time to record, where I could record I had time to I just didn't feel it you know I my personal life has been affecting me in that way as well to where it's been affecting me wanting to record because there's just been so much negativity going on with me lately and I once again I do appreciate all who stuck around and had the patience to stick around and uh, I'm getting through it it's a little day by day for sure. Once again, it's all it's good and bad, but I'm getting through it every day. Um, I'm not gonna get into too much about it of what's going on because it's not really that important to you. Um, but I hope to not have this happen at least for a long time. But I really didn't. I really enjoyed this adventure from beginning to end. I I, I guess that's all I will say on that because again, most of that I want to get into the the actual credits the nitty gritty unless there is no credits and then the game just ends after you beat grunty and then that case then jokes on me for not saying everything the episode before because you think in a finale episode you beat the game there's still more to talk about afterwards but i would hope the game just doesn't end after the credits i'll have to go back and watch banjo kazooie or at least the end to see if there were credits in there after you beat the final boss because i don't remember actually it's been a heck of a long time since I, uh, you know, I played that the first game. So, and wow, I'm surprised how long these credits are. It kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong Country 3, where those credits lasted for an eternity. You know, you you basically got 10 minutes of straight up credits in like going through all the enemies. Dolby and the Double D symbol are trademarks of Dolby Laboratories. I'm guessing this is the end here. And I didn't want to skip this because, of course, this is also important. 2009 Microsoft Corporation! Yay! What a reminder that, uh, that Banjo went over. Sweet. Oh. Guess I might as well keep going because we're still here. Look at this. Well, don't just stand there. 
There is still time to save my brother in Jingling by reversing the gun settings. Yes, do it. But there's no instructions. <laughs> no problem. I'll just press a few buttons and see what happens. That's how it always is, right? No, I... There, that should do it. You crazy feathered punk! Anything might happen now! Oh, here we go. I wonder what we'll hit down there. Oh, I see it's reversing the effects of, you know, absorbing the people. Well, Bottles just straight up died from the explosion of Grunty's spell. And then Jingling got bopped. Look, it's working! Ha! I believe you owe me an apology, dumb chars. <laughs> Yay! Not a chance. Yay, jingling! Thanks, guys. Life's not much fun as a zombie. Aw, that's so cute! Bottles next then, Kazooie. He's been lifeless for quite a while, so I think you'd better turn it up to full power. Not until Soldier Boy apologizes. Just do it. <laughs> Sorry, Kazooie. Thank you. Kazooie, you are so mean. Honestly, even at this point in the game, you've gotten more jerkish than you were at the beginning. I thought that was impossible. And man, he's been a ghost this whole time, just chilling. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yay! Bottles! Oh no! Look at the time! I'm really late for dinner. Miss B will kill me. Yay! Bottles! I thought you were dead the entire game! Oh, nice! Oh, I burnt. <laughs> I don't care how burnt it is. You're still eating it! Oh, it's not my fault. The witch killed me, and I've only just come back to life. Yes, I'm sure you have, dear. Oh, he doesn't believe <laughs> bottles. Oh god, what is this? Goodness, who might you two be? Are you kidding me? Yo, I'm King Jingling, and this fine fellow is Klungo. Parent bird freed Klungo from evil clutches, a mistress. They saved me from an eternity as one of the undead. So, we come around to celebrate. Oh my god. Sounds good to me. Ooh, lovely. I'll make us some nice scones. Oh, scones. I like scones. But where's Banjo? He's the real hero. Mistress escaped. So, brave Baron Bird going after her. They'll join us later, but now let's party! <laughs> this must be the end now. We've had the credits, and everyone's alright again. What about Grunty? Oh. I think we ought to just take a quick look at the top of the tower. But there's no way up there! Nice try, Banjo, but I reckon that opening below the gun over there probably leads up. Oh, I was hoping you hadn't seen that. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? This? No, this is life. This? Oh, hey, is this the pot from the first game? Hello? Why, hello there, Mr. Banjo. I'm Ding Pop, remember me? No, not really. <laughs> I helped you at the end of the Banjo-Kazooie! Oh yeah, it's old Stinkpot! Oh, you're so cruel! But hey, why not jump inside for a nice dingy bonus? Must we? I've only just got my feathers clean from last time! 
Uh, that's not gonna. Where, where is the entrance again? That's not the entrance, is it? I don't think so. I don't think that's where the. Oh god, if I go in there, is that gonna be it? He said the entrance underneath the gun. Is that this? I think this might actually lead to the final boss. So I don't think this is it. So what is this? Might as well do this, right? What did you give me? Oh, a refill! Nice! Oh, wait, is that a refill? Yeah, it's a refill of everything! Nice! Okay! So over here must be where the final boss is, right? It has to be. I remember opening up a thing early- yep. This definitely looks like it to me. Oh boy, you guys, this is it. Ugh, what does this have to say? How many jing how many jiggies do you need for this? I have already opened the door for you. Oh, okay. You probably need 70. That's probably the 70 jiggy door. But already, guys, this is it. I don't believe it. But next time on Banjo to be blind, we're gonna go in here and tank on Mistress Grunty for the final time. Oh man. I'm expecting some wacky final boss. I'm expecting some challenge. But overall, we've gotten everything. And that's insane. I cannot wait. But it's also kind of sad at the same time. With that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for what appears to be the finale of Banjo Tooie Blind. Oh boy. I will see you guys then.